If you remember Dorothy's famous line in The Wizard of Oz as Toto, I don't think we're in Kansas anymore, you would in fact be wrong. And as shocking as this discovery may feel in this very moment, you are actually not alone. This eerie phenomenon where people collectively misremember events, historical facts, and other famous pop culture moments is called the Mandela Effect. And it was named by paranormal researcher Fiona Broom, who wrongly recalled that late South African president Nelson Mandela had died in the 1980s after his imprisonment, when in fact he passed in 2013. Apparently misremembering events and facts isn't just exclusive to Broom. Other people related to her in remembering things not exactly in the way that they happened. From spellings of your favorite snack brands all the way to important events that happened the year they were born. Needless to say, no one is exempt from being stumped by the strange occurrences, and some even go so far as believe them as some sort of proof of alternate realities. That may just be the stuff of science fiction. But scroll on to find out if any of these mind-blowing Mandela Effect examples got you too. Sex in the City. And again, the Mandela Effect takes its toll. While these tree women were having sex in the city, the show was actually titled Sex in the City. The Lost Mona Lisa's Smile, a really strange Mandela Effect. There are a lot of theories about this one, but so many people have claimed that she used to have joust a hint off a smile. C3PO has or not, has a silver leg that for me the most contested Mandela effect because I now 100% C-3PO was used gold. Even the biggest Star Wars fans and Halloween costume sites get it wrong. The robot isn't all gold. He has one silver piece on his right leg. Luke, I am your father. The exchange is as iconic as the Star Wars movies themselves, however, it's another line that is in dispute, but now he said even on old copies. No, I am your father. Still, I assure in my timeline, he says, Luke, Another conflicting Mandela effect in Jaws as he says, We're gonna need a bigger boat, but again it chanced that you're gonna need a bigger boat, is what is said as the Roy Scheider character. Life is like a box of chocolates, is not what Forrest Gump, played by the amazing Tom Hanks, actually said. If you listen now, interestingly, he says, Life was like a box of chocolates. Some say it is always the unlogic version in place of what off some mysterious reason. Tom Cruise's sunglasses. If you've ever seen someone dress up as Tom Cruise from Risky Business, they most likely were wearing some cool black Ray-Bans shades. Fans often remember him rocking with black sunglasses in that iconic dance scene, but he did or didn't. Just socks, a button-up shirt, and a whole lot of confidence are not enough shades or cool, so why not? The positioning of our solar system within the Milky Way galaxy, two astronomical heavyweights, Carl Sagan and Neil deGrasse Tyson, have given us different perspectives but who's right, who's wrong, or is the truth somewhere in between Carl Sean, the legendary astronomer and science communicator, firmly advocated that our solar system is situated on the edge of the Milky Way, specifically within the Sagittarius arm. This view paints a picture of us as cosmic outliers living on the fringes of a galaxy teeming with billions of stars. On the other hand, renowned astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson has a different take he posits that our solar system is nestled within the Orion arm significantly closer to the bustling center of the Milky Way. If you build it, they will come. You may remember this line from the iconic baseball film, Field of Dreams. But in reality, the actual line uttered by the mysterious voice at the beginning of the movie was, if you build it, he will come. We know we'll never be the same either. Beam me up, Scotty. Another memorable line that was surely uttered by William Shatner in his portrayal of Captain Kirk in Star Trek, right? Wrong. Shatner never said those exact words, but the closest he got was Scotty beam us up in Star Trek. The Voyage Home, which premiered in 1986. Like, and says, you know, what to do, have fun, and bye-bye from MJP2166.